Hey guys, welcome to this video and today I'm going to walk you through our CLI and how you can create your first Toolhouse agent using the CLI. There are two ways that you can create agents on Toolhouse. First way is the Agent Studio where you can just go to our platform and have the nice UI and a chat assistant there that helps you create your first agent. If you haven't watched the first part of this video, Go watch that i give you a full tutorial of how the agent studio works and how you can create your agents there but today we're here to cover the cli so to get started first of all you need a toolhouse account toolhouse is free so sign up right now pause the video and sign up you need a toolhouse account to log in and basically work with the cli so sign up all right i hope you did that the next step would be to just install the CLI. So run this command in your terminal and you have just installed the tool of CLI. One command and that's it. You're good to go. All right, before diving in and just creating our first agent and doing all of the business, I'd like you to visit this page docs.toolhouse.ai and look for quick start for developers uh, CLI. So this is where all the information is you can read it yourself go step by step and just check it out but to give you a quick overview of what we're going to do today in this tutorial we're going to install the cli which you have done hopefully then we're going to create an agent connect some mcp servers to it deploy and build the ui for it so this is going to be fun so by the end of this video i'm going to create an agent that can fetch me some paper send them to my email and i'm going to build it with you deploy it and just build a ui for it like go on lovable and build a ui for this agent as well so stick around you're gonna love this video all right so the first command is the th login so th login and you hit enter you get redirected to get authenticated so you can use a cli i'm all good i can just close this tab and there you go, successfully logged into Toolhouse and the next suggested action, which is to create an agent. I can go ahead and just type in th new and assistant. This is the name of my agent. And as soon as I hit enter, I'm going to see a YAML file being generated for me that has this content. So this is your agent YAML file. By default, Toolhouse will give you a creative writer agent with the system prompt and everything else. But one cool thing you can notice from here is the schema that you can just fetch and pass it to your chat assistant or you can just visit it yourself like this. And you can see the whole structure of this agent file. So you know what's expected and what's not expected here and uh, get the details of this YAML file. All right, heading back to the VS Code. Here you can see a bunch of stuff that are commented. Today we're just going to cover some of it, but basically you can just read this out and here, for example, you can use any models you want. If you don't like the default model here, you can bundle stuff. You can put for a schedule or add rag, but today I'm just going to use some MCP servers. So here I'm going to uncomment these parts. And this URL, I just need one URL, so I'm going to remove that, and that's it. I'm going to leave it as example, and let's fetch our own MCP server and connect our agent to it. Later, we need to change the title and the system prompt. So we want the agent to be not the creative writer, right? We want an agent that can fetch us some archive papers. So we need to change that in the YAML file. Okay, let's do that. I'm going to remove this. I don't need this all right for the mcp server we need to pass in a link to an mcp server that we already have so there are two ways that you can connect mcp servers to your toolhouse agent first way is to look what we got in the store so you don't have to go to the trouble of finding an mcp server which is easy but yeah first way check our store. Second way is to grab some remote MCP server from MCP stores like Smithery or you know what, what, whatever that is out there. Great, when you want to check out our MCP servers, you can go to MCP servers, 
and we want something related to archive right so just going to write in archive and I'm going to use this one you can read all about this MCB server here this argument and how it works I'm just going to copy the link and get it for myself going back to the agent file paste that right there and boom your agent the default agent that you just created has uh, archive capability so you can go and fetch out some papers for you or you can go uh, search papers for you recent categories or analyze the trends all the things that is this MCP server can do for you all right now we're going to fast forward this video of me changing the system prompt and the message and the title so I'm going to change the paper assistant is the name of the title all right and the copilot is being nice to us so it's already helping me out here your paper assistant task is to look for AI papers from archive and I'm going to be super straightforward with it All right, so I changed everything here. Uh, so the title, I changed it to paper assistant and the system prompt, I just gave instructions to the AI assistant that it needs to go to archive and find papers, then send them to my email. So I added a, another MCP server we have in the store and said, you know, when you're done with finding papers, just send them to my email. And I left everything as is, just pass that URL for the archive. All right, to run the agent, you need to run the command th run and the name of your agent file. th run assistant, and I just need to hit enter. All right, great. The agent is calling the MCP servers to search the papers, analyze the trends, and send the email. And at the end, it said, I found the trending AI papers from archive and send a nicely formatted table with the details to your email address. All right, let's see if it did that. All right, we got the emails from our assistant, your cool assistant from the CLI sent us now. And we got the whole table with the titles, authors, date, the summary, uh, the archive links and the PDF. That's freaking amazing. So if you click on the links, we will open up the papers the pdf and yeah that's pretty awesome and just like that we just create an agent that will send us emails about trendy ai topic papers and next up is what we promised right so we built that agent we connected some mcp servers to it and we are going to deploy and build a ui for it all right to deploy your agents you just need to follow the cli cli already gives you the next suggested actions so you can just go ahead and type in th deploy assistant.yaml file this will put your agent in production great so you can run your agent with this curl command and you know it's ready but now i want to introduce you to a new command th wipe to web code the UI for this agent. So everything worked perfect. We like things, but we don't want it to be in our terminal. We want this to be in a UI lovable style website, like a chat bot. Okay, so I'm going to enter THY, press enter, and you're going to see these three platforms we support. I'm going to choose lovable. When you choose the lovable, you're going to see a chat, like a prompt for a chat bot in blue so you can hit enter to copy this and press another enter to get redirected to lovable and boom we got our whole prompt here we just need to press a single button for it to work all right lovable 
create this amazing UI for our agent. It's going to look like a chat bot in the chat GPT format. So you can already see the prompt, you can change it, but we're going with the default. All right, lovable, cool. Let's uh, send a message here. Uh, fetch popular AI news, AI papers about MCP servers. All right, we got a UI. Instead of that terminal interface, we have this UI that I can just share this lovable project with my friends or you know, colleagues, customers. And yeah, at, when this agent is done, I should get a new email with the papers. All right, now we got the whole answer here. Uh, great. We found all of this stuff, the links, I even see it in the chat. Let's check my email if I got the email as well. All right, we got new, we got new email, popular AI papers about MCP servers, and we got all of them here. And we got everything. I see MCP servers, MCP gateways, and we got everything here about the papers. And you just click that, you're going to see the paper itself. So with just minutes of us tinkering with the system prompt and just the prompts on the CLI, we came from creating an agent in a YAML file, testing it in the CLI. Then we created a UI on Lovable, just like that, that works. And you can just continue this project and build on top of it. This is the current result, but you can just build and build to make it better. All right, so I'm going to wrap this video so far. I hope you get the idea of how you can walk your way and just build stuff using the and using the CLI. And I hope you like this video. CLI is very awesome. In the next videos, I'm going to show you how you can change the models, put scheduling and more deep types on the CLI. I hope you liked this video and you found it useful. And if you want to explore Toolhouse and go ahead with our paid plans, make sure you use code HUMAN. I'm going to make sure the code appears on the screen and leave it in the description. That will give you 50% off in our paid plans. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope to see you in the next videos. Bye bye everybody.